What's up, YouTube? It's Cincy Bowen here, back again with another Daily Stubs report. It is Thursday, 9-16-2021. Uh, this is the roster update video. I've been doing a lot of research. Uh, there'll be no flipping advice today. It's all just about upgrades. I got a few going from gold to diamond. I got a few going from silver to gold, and I got a two of them that could be going bronze to silver. But without any further ado, hey, let's get into it. If you ain't following the YouTube channel, hey, man, I don't know what you're doing. Hit the sub button. It's free. Hit the bell notification so you know when all the Daily Stub videos come out if you haven't seen us on twitch hey we're gonna start streaming a lot more i've already said that the link will be down in the description go down there click that go over there give us a follow it's all free and much appreciated as well now let's get into the roster prediction for this friday let's do it all right card number one we're going to be talking about we're going to be starting with the two bronzes first um this is more than just a bronze normally i wouldn't comment on a bronze but i believe frank schwindel has a chance to go from bronze to gold within like Another roster update. I mean, this dude's just absolutely been killing it. Last 14 days for Frank Wendell. 55 at-bats, 11 runs, 6 home runs, 17 RBIs, and he's batting 400. Absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see if we can go back to the last month of baseball. Uh, the last month of baseball, Frank schwindel has been rated right the number 14 player with 101 batting appearances, 19 runs, 8 home runs, 22 uh, RBIs, no stolen bases, but batting a solid 356 throughout the whole month up until this point right here today. Frank schwindel has got a, a hell of a chance to maybe even, gonna say, he might even skip over. He might go straight to gold. I mean, they've done things like that before. Frank schwindel man, I've been talking about him almost every single video. I'm a Reds fan, and I don't want to believe in Frank schwindel Frank schwindel has been killing it. The stats don't lie. So that is card number one that I definitely thinks going from bronze to silver to a quick maybe gold who knows maybe it'd be a diamond card at the end of the year who knows that's card number one let's get to card number two as far as the bronze not gonna have to go too far but the next page over as you can see you're still getting for a hell of a price and i guarantee you he might even go up to silver this week. uh ian happ over the last month is the number seven rated player in the mlb uh 96 batting appearances 17 runs 10 home runs 21 rbis two stolen bases and he's also batting 354 uh ian happ is on the come up finally now that he's gotten rid of the rizzos and the bryants and all the distractions now Ian Happ can be Happ again. Uh, love Ian Happ, former Bearcat, UC alumni. Um, so no, wish nothing but good things for this kid. All right, let's get to the uh, silvers to gold. Card number one, I think, is going to go from uh, silver to gold. Uh, you can still get him for a pretty good price. You could probably almost make about 400 stubs per card off of him, uh, especially since you can do the quick sales with no tag. But uh, Nicky Lopez is definitely probably going to go up. Uh, over the last 30 days, Nicky Lopez, 115 bad appearances. 21 runs, two home runs, 11 RBIs, seven stolen bases uh, with a 391 batting average. Just absolutely been tearing it up. And even if you go down to the last seven days, Nicky Lopez is still the 16th best rated player in MLB baseball right now with 27 batting appearances, eight runs, one home run, three RBIs, one stolen base, and still batting up. Astonishing. 444. It's only going to take you one point to get up, and Nicky Lopez has nothing but room to grow. Uh, let's get to card number two of from silver to gold. Card number two, I think, is going to go from uh, silver to gold is Sandy Alcantara. I've been saying it for since my last videos. You can go double check, triple check, but Sandy's made the uh, the last few videos multiple times. Sandy Sandy Alcantara has been the number two pitcher in MLB baseball since the last 30 days. 45 innings pitched, 57 Ks, two wins, five quality starts with a 1.79 ERA with that 0.73 WHIP. Uh, Sandy Alcantara definitely has everything it takes to get to the next level for sure. Sandy Alcantara is definitely going to go from silver to gold. And let's get to card number three that I think is going to go from silver to gold on the next update. Card number three that I think is going to go from silver to uh, gold. It's a little bit of a leapfrog, but I'm going to take it. Number three is Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray, by uh, the site that I'm using, is the number seven best pitcher in MLB baseball over the last 30 days with 30 innings pitched, 20 Ks. He has three wins with three quality starts, an ERA of 1.80, and a whip of 0 0.57. Like I said, I'm always watching Sonny Gray. Huge Reds fan. Always pitches well, just doesn't get the run support that he needs. The Reds are falling apart. I've said that in a few other videos. It's over for the Reds. Thank God football season's here but i definitely think uh sunny gray will be taking that leap from silver to gold and i think his stats are going to take in the three points i know three points is a big leap and this is a i mean this is a wild card pick out there there's no guarantees on sunny gray but you want a good price on a card for a gold this is it right here who knows maybe you buy a thousand thousand coin worth of sunny gray and it pays off and you end up making ten thousand ten thousand stubs today who or tomorrow i should say but uh sunny gray is a card i'm definitely gonna invest a few more in you can't lose investing in this card either way so sunny gray is my number three over to gold all right let's get over to some golds to diamonds this is where the show starts getting good card number one i think is gonna go to gold to diamond in this uh, update coming up friday the uh, javier baez javier baez 
absolutely been tearing it up and you can actually still get a pretty damn good price on it 23 40 right now uh, let's go over to javier baez's stats and you tell me if you think this guy's not going to go back to diamond because ever since i told you the thumbs down in new york the dude's been on fire and if i were mets fans hey you can thumb me down all day long as long as you're playing like this let's go over the 30 14 and the seven day stats javier baez in the last 30 days has been uh, the vbr number 10th best player in mlb um 86 at bats 22 runs seven home runs 15 rbis four stolen base and a 361 batting average in the last 30 days alone go to the last 14 last 14 days javier baez has been the number two player in mlb baseball 55 at bats 15 runs five home runs 10 rbis four stolen bases 400 batting average so right there, he meets the 30-day requirement, the 14-day requirement. Does he meet the seven-day requirement? Let's find out. Javier Baez in the last seven days, the number one VPR in baseball, 25 batting appearances, eight runs, three home runs, six RBIs, three stolen bases with a 480 batting average. Javier Baez has a check mark to all three of those boxes. Javier Baez does not go up to diamond. It's a real, real shame. I'm actually definitely going to uh, invest probably a good 20K in uh, Baez today. Definitely can't wait to this roster update to see what happens. But hey, let's get to card number two that I think that is going from gold to diamond. Card number two that I think is going from gold to diamond is Tyler O'Neill. As you see, the people believe in Tyler O'Neill as well. We'll go over the last uh, 30 days for Tyler O'Neill. Last 30 days for Tyler O'Neill, 17th best player in MLB. 96 uh, batting appearances, 19 runs, 6 home runs, 18 RBIs, 3 stolen bases with a 313 batting average. Over the last 14, Tyler O'Neill has 57 at-bats, 13 runs, 5 home runs. 11 RBIs, two stolen bases with a 333. That's a lot of room to grow, especially with the stolen bases and the runs and the home runs and the RBIs. Dude, just looking really, really good. Uh, let's check out the last seven just to make sure he meets those box boxes that we were talking about. Uh, Tyler O'Neill over the last seven days has been the 15th best player. Uh, 29 batting appearances, seven runs, two home runs, six RBIs, one stolen base, and batting still 310. Him being at that 84, that should be enough to get him up to that uh, diamond where he needs to be, and that should be his first diamond ever. Congratulations to Tyler O'Neill if he gets it this uh, Friday coming up. That is card number two. Let's get to card number three that I think is going from gold to diamond in this upcoming update. This card should be a no-brainer as well. The people believe in this card as well. Uh, the next card, I think, is going from gold to uh, diamond. Uh, Bo Bichette, he will need a two-point jump, but he has a lot of great numbers. He meets those three boxes that we've been talking about today. Let's go to Bo Bichette's last 30 days. Uh, Bo Bichette's last 30 days, 119, 119 batting uh, appearances, 22 runs, 5 home runs, 16 RBIs, 5 stolen bases with a 319 batting average. Pretty damn good for the last 30 days. Uh, let's go down to the last 14. Bo Bichette's the number six player on the uh, since the last 14 days with 60 at bats, 15 runs, four home runs, 12 RBIs, two stolen bases with 50 batting average. Just staying hot, just staying hot. Now, can you stay hot through the last seven here? That's the the big key. Well, guess what? Bo Bichette's the number two player right underneath Javier Baez with 32 at bat appearances. So he has a few more batting appearances than Javi. He has eight runs, four home runs, 11 RBIs, one stolen base, and a 406 batting average. Bo Bichette definitely checks all three of those boxes. Bo Bichette should definitely, definitely, definitely be going from gold to diamond in this next roster update. You know what? You could probably add your boy Robbie Ray to it as well. Robbie Ray, you know, he got player of the month card. That's like a freebie. I think everybody knows that with this sell now price at 4500 That is card number three that I do think is going from gold to diamond and Boba shit. All right, let's get to a little bit extra here. Uh, those are basically all my picks. Uh, there's a couple other cards that I just want to talk about. One is Nick Castellano, still heavily, heavily um, investing in. Yeah, so right now I got about 17 Nick Castellanos. So I'll probably uh, beef that up to maybe like an even 30 since he's only like a, a thousand coin right now. Uh, Nick Castellanos has been still having a sneaky good year, dude. Uh, double here, single there, double here, homer here, two hunt run homer there. I mean, Nick Castellanos is the only guy on the Reds basically getting it done with the bat right now. Uh, if you do see a run or two on the scoreboard, more than likely it came from Nick Castellanos. I do, did realize they gave him the new car art, so maybe that's saying something. I'm still believing in uh, Nick Castellanos. It's not this roster update. It's going to be the next roster update or the one after that. Because there's three more. They've already confirmed it. Nick Castellanos is someone I still believe in. Someone I still believe that can get to the uh, diamond range for sure. Another one that I was going to mention was uh, Kyle Tucker. But Kyle Tucker's not going to get much value um, right now. Just with a couple of these other cards that I actually told you about. Now, I do believe Kyle Tucker does have enough to get to the uh, gold to diamond. Still got a pretty good price out of him. I mean, you could probably still make a good 800 stubs off of him as far as quick sale goes with the no tech. He did have a new card art as well. A lot of new cards had a uh, card art. I did 
push one card really, really hard last week. Osmati Grendel. Looks like a lot of his numbers have cooled down. There's a good chance he still could go diamond. I'm not sure. I don't know what they're going to base this off of, but it's just another name out there because he's still getting a pretty good price for him as well. I believe it was like three grand by now, and I believe it was like 2,400 uh, sell now. You definitely still get a good, lot of good prices. Definitely invest wisely. Good luck on your uh, investments. Hopefully my uh, video kind of helped. The second opinion, first opinion, third opinion. Always happy to make these videos. They're kind of fun to make. Appreciate the people coming by and watching them and leaving comments. Next video will be Saturday afternoon. We will go over all the uh, roster update. Uh, we'll go over my predictions, whether if I got the, the X or the check. You know, this is pretty much my first roster update prediction video ever. Excited that uh, I do well on it. Hopefully everybody enjoyed my picks. Until next time, YouTube, Cincy Bowen out.